Welcome to Elton CKD Close Quarters Weapons and Non-Weapons. These video guides are designed to show you each move and the technique. Please practice the move, get it fluent so it's second nature and then concentrate on building up the speed. Red Senior Close Quarter Weapon Rear Knife to the Throat I'll stand in front of my colleague Chris here and here, as you can see, this is a typical, more of a threat thing. He could well be asking somebody else in the room for money or he'll finish me off or this attack could be to drag me off somewhere, right? But with this sort of attack, he's not got anywhere else to go apart from what he's doing. So normally it's to get the attention of somebody else, otherwise it hurt me. Now with this one, again, so all these techniques are down to speed. I can only slow them right down so you can see what the moves are. But in real life, it's very, very fast. There's three options on this one. And I'm happy for you to do any of the three which suits you best. With a, with a cravat, the, the third version does hurt him seriously. So on the, on the, you know, in a real situation, it's your choice. So number one then, I grab the arm here. I elbow with my free hand to give him something to think about. The hand then joins my other hand, so I've got both hands on the wrist. I extend the elbow onto my shoulder and snap. Back to the beginning. So I'm here. Grab here, elbow to give me something back. Even an eye elbow into the face in reality would be beautiful. Maybe even more than one. Join your wrists together, rotate the knife so it points to the sky, for obvious reasons to line up the elbow on your shoulder, and then snap. In the dojang, I want you to literally go underneath his hands and go snap. And that would indicate that you've broken his arm, and obviously then you'll make a mistake. Option number two is exactly the same thing again. I grab here, elbows, elbows, elbows high, elbows again, but this time I extend the arm using both my hands all the way back to his body. I'm actually stretching the arm out as far as it can, way past the elbow, so my shoulder is only the armpit. And this is a standard throw. I step slightly to my left so that my rear buttock is against his groin area, and gently I'm going to put Chris down on the floor. So this arm comes down at this angle here, across me. And in real life, I'd actually be turning my body with it. So, this, so the knife comes down and around. So it comes down here like this, and down he goes here. Now at this point here, I've dragged Chris forward so you can see him in shot. <laughs> at this point here, you'll see I've still got both hands on the knife hand. Very nice indeed. I can finish off my counter-attack with stamps to the ribs, and then make my escape. Thank you, Chris. And now we're going to go for the third option. Now remember, the third option is where I'm so petrified. I'm so scared. Perhaps he's already hurt somebody else in the room. So I know this guy's got to be finished. This remains the same. Elbows remain the same to the head and the body. But this time, I keep the knife where it is against me and I turn in towards the attacker. And that's the third option. Your choice.